Hey everybody, and welcome back to Past and Present. This is where we kind of discuss art kind of like a concert where you're like, oh, I remember that amazing concert that happened in 1957. I wish I, wish I was there or the 60s or 70s. So this is like a combination of people that are uh, that artist, artistry from the past and the present and just people to check out. So here are two um, that we're gonna go with first. And the first one we'll do with the, the present. And this is uh, Patricio Bateo. Uh, hopefully I said that name right. Um, really amazing artist, uh, really interesting use of colors and shapes and just the way that he thinks about uh, composition. I just, it's really interesting. So this is one of those people you should check out. Uh, I, I don't think a lot of people know or, and should, uh, but it's very interesting subject matter and it's a little macabre, but I love the shape designs and I love how he incorporates pencils in with his inks uh, uh, along with his his color tones and works it's, it's really nice so next one up is everyone should be familiar or should familiarize yourself with is Claire Wendling so she is brilliant and a super nice person to boot but just I don't have to say anything I'm just gonna sit here and flip pages yep right Check out the gorgeous work of Claire Wendling on Instagram or wherever fine books are sold, like at Stuart Ng. So, uh, from the the past, we're gonna go with a classic first, Frank Frazetta. So this is Icon is right, pretty much kind of started the whole thing, but beautiful work. Did movie posters, but the composition, the paintings. Just really stellar visual language. Classic shout out to the old masters, but just you'll see so many paintings that you're like, oh, I know what that's from. Oh, I've seen that before. Oh, this is all Frank Frazetta. So we kind of started the whole thing and uh, is really brilliant. I, I go back to my Marvel Savage sort of Conan days. And whenever I look through this, I'm like, ah. So that's, that's one from the past. And this one is Yoshiro Tatsumi. Um, he was a manga artist. Uh, he passed away, I think, 2015. Really, really nice drawings. It's subverted material. Uh, so it's not happy manga, but it's kind of like it's, show, it's shining a light in everyday sort of... Um, the dirtier side of life. It's very interesting subject matters and it, it's it's really well done, really well paced, really well drawn and volumes and volumes. The amount of work that, that he did in his lifetime is staggering. So if you haven't checked out those, they're adult stories, they're not like kid manga, but it's really interesting to see like how he took little slices of real underground life and sort of turned it into his own medium. So uh, that's what we have for today. Um, hopefully there's something in there that you didn't know about and can go check out and be inspired. So have a good day.